What's up, Starter Hair Extension Business Group? It's your hair business's best friend, Mikey. And today I'm going to go over something uh, I think that'll help a lot of the Shopify users in the group that would like to change their prices. Uh, so I got a message. Look, I don't have time. I love you guys, but I get so many Facebook messages. I cannot catch them all. So I just want to apologize uh, in advance. You know, I, I can't answer every message. It's just it's too many. Uh, but Darche, I think I'm saying her uh, name correctly. At least I hope so. If not, I apologize. Uh, Darche Gatlin asked me about, hey, how do I change the my prices in Shopify? What's the fast way to do it? I know if you go into, you know, we can go into a sample product, right? Something. Uh, let me actually share my screen real quick. I think you guys are going to like this. So here I'm in the Shopify backend, which you guys are all very familiar with that have Shopify. I'm going in the Brazilian body weight bundle deals. Okay. So you, you know, you can change the prices this way by going in and editing price by price, by price, by price. All right. So that's going to take a lot of time. Um, and we don't want you to spend all your time doing that. So there's got to be a better way. One way that I really like doing it is I go to products and let's just say I want to edit the prices of all the bundle deals. So I can search bundle deals here and you see it has all these different bundle deals, right? So a faster way to change the products for these is you click this, you select all the bundle deals and then just edit products. And what this does is opens up into this area. Now, it's much easier and much faster for you to update the pricing of the products like this. So imagine going before logging in or going into this product page, updating the pricing, have to hit save, and then go find the next one. It's so much faster to have it all right here. So basically, all you would do if you wanted to raise the price to, you know, whatever, $5 more, $199.99. And then you can go down and then update all the pricing, all of these. Now, one quick uh, tip for you here, make sure that you, when you click save, like I click save, you can see on the left side, it, anytime you make an edit, give it time. If you update a bunch at one time, give it time for the check marks to go through before you leave this page. So let it sit, you can check, you can actually watch the check marks go down, go down, go down, go down, if you're gonna edit a bulk. Um, but this also, this technique is good, not just for updating the price, you can see how you can add different fields. So if you wanna do SEO, so right now I'm working on some SEO stuff on a Shopify site. If I add the page title and meta description, you can see you have all this and maybe I don't need the SKU. So you can go up here, get rid of the SKU because if you have too much information up here, it becomes, uh, you know, and you're not adjusting it. I recommend just adjusting uh, the bulk editor and this makes a big difference. Does this help? I really hope so. So real quick, um, let's go ahead and go back to the product page. Okay, uh, and then let's just take a look at the product pages uh, because a lot of people get kind of lost and I think you really need to spend a little bit of time on the product pages to see what's going on. So obviously here is your product title. Okay, so this is what everybody sees. Here's your product description. Uh, I was actually just adding some videos to private label extensions. I hope you saw the new, uh, the new lash videos, which are look amazing. Yes, I have some coming for you guys too. Uh, so, but I like to test them first. Like I don't just a lot of times create this stuff and then be like, oh, let me just you know, give it to you guys first without making sure that it all works, looks good, and it's easy to do. So, if you wanted to add those videos, you can go in here. It's as simple as insert video. And then you have an iframe. So I'm using Vimeo and, and you can do the same with YouTube. You'll see like an iframe, you copy it and paste the embed code. And then what happens is it automatically shows up here. Uh, I can show you a quick example. So let's go to private label extensions and we're gonna go to lashes. I've only finished the 25 millimeters so far. Okay, so you have the 25 millimeter page, it looks great, right? So let's go to December and you can see the video here, see? 
So you can see the nice video embedded. That's how I did it. All I did was I took the embed code, I copied paste using the insert video. If you wanna add additional images, make sure that you are compressing the images and not using some huge image. Otherwise you're gonna make your page slow. Uh, I'll probably have to do another tutorial on that. Um, so go in there and then, you know, you might even wanna put something like in here in your description, a lot of people are trying to find the, are trying to find closure. So you could put something like here, you know, matching closure, uh, let's see, deep wave closure. And what you would do is you would obviously want it to look the same. So you would bold this and then you would highlight this, click link, insert link, and then you would um, insert the link to your deep wave closure. So that's some just basic stuff that you can do in here in the editor. I'm just gonna delete that to keep it the same. Uh, add media, you can click here and alt text. Make sure you're adding your alt text. So this should be deep wave bundle deal. This is all very important stuff, guys, for SEO. Save alt text, okay, that's saved. If you wanted to upload additional photos, you can click here or you can actually just drag them and drag them here. Of course, here all, all, are all your different uh, variants for this and the pricing if you wanna go here and edit it in this way. If you wanna just do a quick edit on one product, you know, you can do it like this. But the question was, how do I do a bulk edit? So I was showing you the bulk edit. Uh, edit website SEO. So this is where you would go in. Once you have the URL, I don't recommend changing that after you've created the product, but I definitely recommend and uh, updating your page title and then page description. This says 320 characters. That's what Shopify does. But kind of the, the rule for SEO is only 160 characters, half this. So make sure you get all the juicy stuff in the first 160 characters. And then you can continue writing, if you please, uh, going into the 100 AR to the 320 characters. And then if you look up here, uh, collections, so you can add this to different collections, uh, bundle deals. If you if you have it like on sale category, you could create that. Or in Shopify, they call it collections. You would add that here. You can also uh, add tags. Is different way. The the collections and tags are just ways to help organize the way you want it to display on the front end. Okay, so think about how that works. Uh, it's just more for organizational purposes. You know, you'll notice actually for our uh, private label wholesale clients, you'll notice something what I've been working on is the navigation. So what I did is uh, this isn't actually in the product page. Uh, actually it is, I added to the collections. Uh, so basically here, if you go shop type, I noticed a lot of people were searching for blonde hair because in Shopify it shows you what people are searching for. So you'll see I added blonde straight hair, blonde deep wave, blonde. And then if shop type, I've even broken it down even more. So it makes it easier for the visitors to find what they're looking for. You don't want people to get to your website and not be able to find what they're looking for. So this main menu here, I've broken it down considerably. This is way better than it was before. Uh, just to try to improve search. Now, this does take a little bit of time to add the products and do all this stuff. Uh, and that's not part of this video. You know, it's more of just focusing on these product pages, but it just gives you a little bit of uh, insight on what you should be doing on these product pages. You know, you definitely want more than one image. You can start adding customers images, um, you know, adding videos to the product pages different items like this. The only thing I wouldn't really adjust, like I said, is the URL, because if you have links and other products, it'll create a redirect if we wanted to uh, change it. So redirect meaning if I change it uh, and you go to this old page, it automatically puts you back to the new page or uh, moves you over to the new page. The problem with that is Google just doesn't like a lot of redirects. So I'm not recommending it to you guys to have a lot of redirects because we want to be friends with Google and do what Google wants. Okay. Uh, let's see here. I don't know if we have any comments. Uh, let's see. Can the video, 
be added by you guys when we sign up for Dropship Beauty. Um, we're not at this time going in and adding the videos to all the product pages and such. It just takes a lot of time uh, and not all the websites and everything come with it. The you know This gets into, this is your website and your business and you wanna get to the point where you're doing a lot of the work yourself. You need to learn how to do this. Uh, you need to spend time in the back end, if you have WordPress, Shopify, Wix, Big Cartel, whatever program you're using, you really want to spend time in the back end learning this stuff because really all you're basically doing is copying. Here, let me go. I have a two screens now because I want to start doing more live videos. Uh, so I wanted to do uh, two screens. So I will give you guys a quick example. Okay, so you should be able to see my Vimeo page here. And let's see, if I wanted to add the December lashes, you see this, all I'm doing, share, copy and bed code. It's already copied to my clipboard. Going over here, let's do a quick preview of what it looks like now, okay? Now, obviously you wouldn't be adding, and this, uh, excuse the design, this is just for, we're doing testing purposes of this. Um, obviously you wouldn't add a lash video, but that's not really the, it's more the principle. I like to give it a little space, click back up, insert video. I'm pasting the code in here, insert video, clicking save. Okay, now when I go back over here, do a little refresh. Whoa, maybe not, hold on. Let me click view again. There we go. All you have to do, the refresh doesn't work. It probably maybe changes the URL, but just click the little view button right here. And you can see, I mean, this is something you, it's basically copy, paste, save, view, because you always want to double check your work. So when you're adding videos, don't just go through it real fast. Make sure that you're viewing uh, the videos. Look how easy that was. Like I'm a thousand percent, not even a hundred percent, a thousand percent confident you can do that. I'm gonna remove that code and save once again. And you'll see the video is gone. This is this button here, I didn't mention that. This is the HTML, so it's a clean way, like if you wanna remove stuff or kind of look at the code, uh, it's just a clean way to do so. Most people don't really have to worry about that. But if we click over here again, you'll notice the, uh, the video, or excuse me, yeah, the video is gone. Uh, so that's just a quick and easy way. YouTube has the same thing. It has an iframe that allows you to do this. It's just a really quick and easy way for you to add videos to your website. Uh, now, be a little careful. I wouldn't recommend more than one or two videos to the product page. The video can slow down your page a little bit. Uh, so the key is don't add like 10 videos to one product page because it's gonna be a slow page. It might load slower. You might make people mad and we don't want that. Uh, so, you know, just keep that in mind, but this is, you know, this is a quick and easy way to, um, to add video to your site and update pricing and have a better understanding of how the product pages work. Uh, if you know, this helps and you want other videos, uh, I'm probably, I'm going to go ahead and post something in the group. I really want to do a live video with you guys every single day answer more questions, uh, give some tutorials. Uh, this helps out a lot on customer service. I know people love to call the customer service team uh, to ask a lot of technical website questions. Uh, the customer service team is more of like where your order is and we're trying to get away from them trying to help uh, with the websites. I mean, you know, they're not, they're not web experts uh, they're not, they, they have a good understanding, but they're not super web experts. That's not really their job or goal. That's why we try to do everything via support tickets. It's very difficult to manage this kind of stuff, um, on the phone and like try to walking, walking people through. It's just very difficult. Uh, it's much easier to do via support tickets. Uh, but I want to get the group up to date with just some of the basics. I mean, you can see, I, hopefully this has helped, uh, some of you guys on how to quickly update and edit a uh, lot of pricing. Uh, so just one more time, you can always just go back to products. You can search however, my, if I want to edit all these products, I mean, really it's just this, edit products. And if I wanted to change the price, you have all the pricing. It's a quick price change right there. And that's all you need to do guys. Um, so 
that is, uh, let's see if we have any questions about anything. Uh, please feel free to leave it in the comments below. Let me show my buy, sell, repeat banner. I've, I am just so proud of you guys. I see so many people so excited. I'm getting messages. Uh, people have made their first sale. They made their 10th sale this week. Uh, you know, they've made $100 this week. They've made $500 profit this week, you know, $1,000 profit this week. Um, having the hybrid system, being able to access dropship and the wholesale, it's definitely a winning combination. Whatever works best for you, of course, you know, do what's best for you always. Uh, but, you know, we at Private Label Extensions, what we're always trying to do is uh, solve the problems of whatever your problems are. So if it's inventory, if it's shipping, uh, websites, videos coming up, uh, pretty much everything. It's a nonstop, nonstop over here to make it easier for you to sell. We can all win together. Uh, that's the goal. We just need to all be supportive of each other. Uh, you know, I do these videos. We have over 30,000 people in the group. Obviously, 30,000 people aren't our client, uh, but we're still here willing to help other people that aren't uh, that aren't our clients. Uh, it's always good to give back to you, to your community. We want to make the hair community a better place. Um, and that's it. So I don't see any comments over here. So I'm going to go ahead and end this video, but, uh, I'll do another post, or if you want to see a specific tutorial, feel free to leave a comment on this video and I'll make sure it's saved and, uh, appreciate you guys watching. Thank you so much.